Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we are taking a look at the Sonos Move portable speaker and how it compares to the popular JBL Extreme 2. Some of you are aware the Sonos Move is their latest addition to their home entertainment lineup. It's also their first portable battery powered Bluetooth speaker. So today in this video, I will be doing a full comparison between both of them and see how they stack up against each other. I will also be doing a sound test towards the end of the video. So make sure you stick around. So without wasting time, let's begin. So starting with pricing, the JBL Extreme 2 is going to run you around $280 while the Sonos Move is way more expensive. It's going to run you $399 or £399 here in the UK. So if you pick up both of these speakers, you will notice that the Sonos Move is slightly heavier than the JBL Extreme 2. The Extreme 2 weighs 2.4 kilograms, while the Sonos Move weighs 3.0 kilograms. You can easily fit any of them in a medium to large size backpack and you are good to go. So for positioning, you always have to position the JBL Extreme 2 lying flat on the table or on the ground. While the Sonos Move, you always have to stand it vertically, as you can see. So for connectivity on the Sonos Move, you are getting Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but no auxiliary port on the Sonos Move, so you cannot use it wired. While on the JBL Extreme 2, you are getting Bluetooth and auxiliary connection, so you can use the JBL Extreme 2 wired, but the JBL Extreme 2 does not have Wi-Fi. The JBL Extreme 2 has the Connect Plus feature, which enables you to connect it to up to 100 Connect Plus JBL or Harman Kardon speakers to play same music at same time. While the Sonos Move is a smart speaker, so Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa are built in. So once you connect it on Wi-Fi and you have your voice assistant account enabled and you turn on your microphones, you can stream music, get questions answered. It also supports AirPlay 2 on Apple devices. Both of them have a dedicated app to control and make adjustments, but on the JBL Connect app, it's much more limited as you can only use it to connect multiple speakers and get speaker firmware updates. You can't really make any sound adjustments on the app, but you can do that using third-party apps. While on the Sonos app, you can tweak the treble and bass performance, connect multiple Sonos audio systems together, get speaker firmware updates, and many more. In terms of build quality and durability, the Sonos is made of metal at the sides all around and then the top is made of plastic while the base is made of a very thick rubbery material while the JBL Extreme 2 is made of plastic and it's covered with uh, a rugged fabric mesh and then it's got some rubbery materials by the sides which also help it with shock resistance as well uh, so I'll say the JBL Extreme 2 is slightly more rugged than the Sonos Move because the Sonos is IP56 shock resistant and a splash proof uh, but it's not IPX7 while the JBL Extreme 2 is IPX7 waterproof so you can fully submerge it in water you can easily carry both of these speakers around the Sonos Move has an opening at the back with which you can insert your hands and carry it around while on the JBL Extreme 2 it comes with a strap which you can attach and carry it around well charging up the Sonos is slightly easier than the JBL Extreme 2, yes. The Sonos has a charging dock which you just plug to your power socket and then place the Sonos on top of it and then you are good to go. And it's also got a USB-C port at the back so you can charge these up with a compatible USB-C adapter or a power bank. While for the JBL Extreme 2, you can only charge it via the provided uh, power cable. You cannot charge the JBL Extreme 2 via any USB-C port because it does not have one. But the JBL Extreme 2 has a dedicated standard USB port for charging devices on the go. So if you like to charge up your smartphone or tablet on the go, the JBL Extreme 2 is a better option. Well, as for me, I'll say the components are slightly better protected on the Sonos Move than on the JBL Extreme 2 because all the drivers and internal components are all protected. You cannot see them, they are not visible. While on the JBL Extreme 2, the drivers are embedded inside, while the passive radiators are exposed by the sides. Anytime you are playing music, you will see the passive radiators thumping. Although they are solidly built, uh, but you have to be careful. Now coming to battery life, battery life is way worse on the Sonos Move. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, Sonos claims 10 hours of playtime. At max volumes, I'm just able to get 3 hours. Yes, 3 hours max. 
on the Sonos, which is quite shocking. And for some other reason as well, the battery seems to drain on its own, even on standby. I don't know if I have a faulty unit here, but that's what I noticed. While on the JBL Extreme 2, you are having great battery life. The battery does not drain even on standby. It doesn't drain easily. You are getting up to 15 hours of playback time. While on max volume, you are getting up to 5 hours. I got like 5 hours 20 minutes from my initial testing, so which is pretty decent. Well, now coming to sound quality, I was really shocked from my testing, yes. First of all, let's start with bass performance. From 0 to 50%, you are getting way more bass on the Sonos Move. But once you crank up the volume on the Sonos Move to around 70-80% or above, you'll notice that the Sonos Move loses a lot of bass. While the JBL Extreme 2, when you are playing from 0 to 40%, the bass is very soft. It's nowhere as punchy as that on the Sonos Move. But once you crank up the volume on the JBL Extreme 2 to around 50% and above, you'll see the bass kicks in. It becomes as punchy as the Sonos Move. And at max volumes, to my greatest surprise, the JBL Extreme 2 had more bass than the Sonos Move. Yes, you heard me right. It's not that much, but you'll definitely notice it. You also have to bear in mind, you can use the equalizer on the Sonos app to tweak the sound settings a little bit on the Sonos Move. I did it, but the bass is not still that great at max volumes. Even after I boosted bass, you know, to like the maximum on the EQ on the Sonos app, the bass at max volumes still wasn't that great in my opinion. You get slightly better bass kick and punch on the JBL Extreme 2 at max volumes. So for low listening levels, the Sonos definitely does a better job. Vocals, they are much more clearer and much more direct. In terms of overall loudness, I think at max volumes, the Sonos move is slightly louder than the JBL Extreme 2, yes. And then when I played some specific tracks, I noticed that both of them sounded almost the same. But you have to bear in mind, in terms of sound stage, and stereo separation, I think the JBL Extreme 2 sounds slightly better. That's what I noticed, especially when you're listening between 40 to 70% volume. Uh, while the Sonos Move is much more direct, although you hear it around you, it has this uh, grill that goes all around to the sides. It's quite immersive, but for some reason, you just notice that the JBL sounds slightly wider. You get a slightly wider sound stage. Uh, with uh, better stereo separation because the JBL Extreme 2 has two tweeters while on the Sonos Move it's like you have only one tweeter so you have to bear that in mind. So it's time for the sound test. Please put on your headphones as this is going to be a binaural recording.
Just for sound quality, I think I'll give it to the Sonos, even though it loses bass at max volumes than I expect it to. But for sound quality, the Sonos definitely sounds better. Both of these speakers don't support Aptex or Aptex HD, so there is slight latency whenever you are watching videos or playing games with any of them. Although you are getting more features on the Sonos Move, the Extreme 2 turns out to be a slightly better overall package and will appeal to many more consumers as it's way cheaper, more rugged, easier to set up and use, has better battery life and packs as much punch as the Sonos Move. While the Sonos Move is still better suited for those already deep into Sonos ecosystem and just need a portable speaker, to occasionally use outdoors. If I'm traveling on the weekends and I just have to take one portable speaker with me, I'll definitely go with the JBL Extreme 2. Yes, you heard me right. Yep, so I hope this video was helpful to show you all how both of these speakers stack up against each other. I'll be throwing links down in the description section for you all if you want to purchase any of them. As always, feel free to check out other reviews and comparisons on this channel. I am Izikello and I'll see you all in the next video. Adios.